Today, I'm going to be explaining the future of Castles. Because Castles is a game I've been playing, I've been covering, a lot of people enjoy it, including myself. And it's got a lot more to go. And a lot of people don't know this, so I need to go ahead and give you the information. So we're going to be talking about the future, the next four steps. So we're going to be talking briefly about the Lumberjack, the Carpenter, and then we're going to go to the Wonders, including the Explorer's Guild. And we're going to talk more about that, some details that are probably going to be shared about the time this video drops. Very excited for this, really cool stuff, and I can't wait to kind of tell you. Make sure you stay to the end because the Explorer's Guild stuff is fascinating. As always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm a gamer, so make sure you do your own research. And as always, I do have my own Discord where I do giveaways all the time, including one in this video. We have a bunch of prologue packs to go ahead and give away. They contain one land, and all you have to do is comment down below what you are most excited for in this video. And go ahead and go to the Discord, put your YouTube name and your wallet address. If you've done this in a past video where you went into the Discord, you don't need to do that step again, but you do need to comment down below. Now let's get into this exciting news. Here we go, Road to Building Wonders. Let's start with the Lumberjack that's going to be out any day now, March 24th, probably the day this video drops. And we are looking at getting 100k M source and two royal seals to craft one lumberjack. You can go ahead and craft as many as you want for the time, as long as the time doesn't expire. And there is a supply limit as well, so you want to get them in as quick as possible. Once you have the lumberjack crafted, he will go ahead and craft lumber, and you'll need that lumber to craft the carpenter coming up. The recharge amount is a lot because it's going to be getting expensive as we go forward. And if you want to use him for another week, it's 400k M source with four royal seals. Now, this does seem like a lot, but at the same time, it's really good for the economy. It's going to make wood really worth something. The first week, you kind of get it for free. And then after that, it gets a lot more expensive. The Carpenter will be April 12th. And all these dates and numbers can change, but I'm just kind of giving you the general idea of this portion. So to craft a carpenter, it's going to be nine lumber and two royal seals, and then it'll craft two to three fine wood. Now, these two crafters are extremely important for us. Make sure you get them because they are going to be making land. And if you want to make land, you need these carpenter and lumberjack. More on that in a moment. Don't forget, every time that you craft something, you are going to get some points in the raffle. These are how many of each will be given away. So you can get an idea of your chance of winning something. There'll be one castle, one baron, a bunch of packs, and this is just all extra just by going through and crafting the lumber and the lumberjack and the fine wood. And this will also be held on YouTube, so make sure you're following their Discord. And I also want to thank Castles for sponsoring this video. Let's go to May 3rd. This is going to be our first wonder. How this works is you're going to use lumber and fine wood and royal seals, and you're going to craft a bounty. Now, bounties stack, they're persistent, they never expire, and they're tradable. You can think of this like a share in the company, and you get... 50% of that revenue is split between everyone that owns one of those bounties. So you want to get these bounties because this is going to be income coming in nonstop every time someone buys a royal seal. Yes, castles make royal seals, but you see already how many things are in demand for royal seals. And you'll see more as we go. Not only that. We do have a Baron drop coming every month. April 1st will be the last time they are at $250. After that, you're going to be looking at the price doubling at least. And then with that price being more, they're going to be more coveted. So the April 1st drop is going to be very hard to get any because people are going to grab them. But good luck. I'm going to try. So let me know if you get one. So May 1st, when it doubles in price, from that point, 10% of whatever's taken in there is going to this wonder. That's awesome. So that's a little more... Uh, 
juice for your squeeze on these bounties. It just makes them even more profitable because now you're going to be getting 10% of the Baron sales every month. That's awesome. These are going to be highly coveted and anyone that sells them cheap, I'm buying. <laughs> The Explorer's Guild is where it gets really interesting. This is a game within a game. Here you'll be able to send your Explorer out to find new lands. There are two different missions that will do that. One will be the Explorer's Pack and the other one will be the Seafarer's Pack. The cost to send out these missions are going to be six fine wood for the land with one royal seal and 12 fine wood for the seafarers pack and these will adjust and change over time now basically how this works is you send your explorer out for two days for the explorers pack which will contain two lands when it's returned as an 85 percent chance for a farm 14 percent chance for a ranch and one percent chance for a village or you can do a seafarers pack find it by sea which takes four days here you're going to have four lands come back. It's going to be an 85% chance for farm, 12% ranch, 2% village, 1% town. So now you'll be able to discover land that way by sending them out in the Explorer's Guild. But wait, there's more <laughs> with this. You can also do other things in the Explorer's Guild, like send out your Explorer to get this new resource called Rune Source. Rune Source is going to be a new token that is introduced and it's going to be used for the dungeon expansion in the future. More on that around the time that this comes out. But basically, if someone new to the game is coming and they can't get their hands on any land and they can't get started in the beginning portion, they'll still be able to play the game by doing these missions. Anyone can do the missions on the Explorer Guild. What do you get when you craft wonders for the Explorer's Guild? Well, it's pretty awesome. Think of it the same way as the Royal Seal. You get a share of the Explorer's Guild, but this time you get Rune Source when a mission is completed. Now, let me stop for a moment there. Not when you do a mission. When anyone does a mission, you get a share of the Rune Source. It's awesome. You're like part of this explorer's guild you're getting a cut every time someone does something by crafting this that's why it's so important to be in this game early and i'm glad you're here this is gonna be amazing i can't wait we're gonna have so much rune source for being in here plus the rune source is gonna be used in the dungeons so when the dungeons is announced we'll be able to do a lot of cool things and this is all just speculation i haven't heard anything about it but i'm guessing maybe craft gear maybe explore certain areas of the dungeon find certain treasures who knows but there's a lot of options there and rune source is going to be the one that powers that and we're just going to be getting it passively after we complete this i'm going to go quick on this these missions that you send out for land can also be sped up if you want to spend Right now, they're saying one royal seal for the land one and two royal seals for the sea to be instant. Now, all of this can change, and these things probably will change as the economy changes. Things are going to go up, and that's smart, because if you don't increase stuff as the game goes on, you're going to start having some problems with your token being a little too oversaturated. So this is going to make the tokens very valuable and the royal seals plus people want to speed this up they can go buy the royal seals they buy the royal seals you just got a cut of that royal seal money because they went and bought a royal seal for five dollars through the game so now they want to go ahead and send out these missions to get these lands right so now they're going to go ahead and do that they're going to purchase royal seals guess what you just got a cut of that because you have the royal courthouse bounties so now you got a cut of that now they're going to send out these missions use these seals and they're going to bring back some rune source. Well, guess what? You also get some rune source. Double dipping. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited for these features and what's to come in castles. Sounds like they just have update after update and we're going to have a lot of cool stuff coming.
So again, what are you most excited for? What is your strategy? Post it down below and don't forget to comment in the Discord for the giveaway. I want to thank everyone for joining and I can't wait to get through the Explorers Guild.